Good morning, Jensen. You look very smart in your Christmas top. There's little Christmas Santas and dinosaurs and all sorts on it. And we've got some jeans on. And look at these socks. <laughs> Are you going to wiggle your toes for us, Jensen? Wiggle those toes. Basically, they jingle. Uh-oh. Jensen's got the camera. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jensen. We're going to go out for the day today, aren't we, Jensen? Are you being shy? We're going to go out for the day to a Christmas fair. Are you excited? Are you excited? Oh, he's sleepy. It's time for his nap first, but he can sleep in the car when we're on our way. So Jensen's all dressed up, ready to go out in his dinosaur hoodie that my friend Jean bought him, which is very, very cute. And it even has dinosaur spikes at the top, but he doesn't like having his hood on. <laughs> there we go. Is that better? Yeah. And he's got his jeans on, and how cute are these little socks? with little jingly Christmas puddings on. <laughs> Are you going to show us your Christmas puddings, Jensen? Can you show us your Christmas puddings? Jensen, what are you doing? Those are Mummy's cloths, put them back. What are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing, Jensen? Those are Mummy's cloths. <gasps> Put them back! What have you got those out for? <laughs> oh dear. Today we've had a lovely day off and we've been cruising around the North Norfolk coast. That makes it sound like we've been on a boat. Yeah. We're in the car. <laughs> um, we drove up to Holcomb Hall first. So Holcomb Hall is a lovely um, big hall with a lot of land. So it's supposed to be a Palladian style house um, that's got like 25,000 acres of land around it. And then you can go and go for walks around there and it's got a really lovely lake. Um, so we went there and had lunch to start with and then we walked around this Christmas fair that they had that sold lovely foods and all different bits and bobs that you can um, buy for Christmas presents etc but it was really really busy so we didn't spend too long there and also it was really really cold as well. So we started to have a little bit of a walk around the outside of the hall, um, but it was just too cold to stay too long. And you could see that in the lake, there was a massive frozen panel of ice across the top in some areas of it. And I just thought, wow, it is very cold then. So the hall itself is actually open from about April to October, I think, to the public. You can go and visit. Um, but I think the family stay there over the winter months. So it isn't open, the actual hall itself, um, to the public until the sort of summer and um, spring months. Um, so after we'd gone to Holcomb Hall, we drove down to Wells next to the sea. We just stopped at the harbour for a few minutes and had a little look out to sea and it was really calm and there wasn't many people around at all. So hopefully I'll pop that footage in here. And then after that, we drove over to Holt. Um, Holt is one of our favourite places and it's actually the home, well, somewhere near Holt, of Stephen Fry apparently. We had a little look around Holt um, and went to the Holt Garden Centre, which is one of our favourite sort of relatively local garden centres. And it had loads of lovely Christmas decorations, really, really nice light display outside and so many lots of Christmas decorations inside. We always like to have a look at Christmas decorations in garden centres. We stopped 
for a hot drink and a piece of cake um, and then we drove over to Sheringham. Now Sheringham had their light display outside. It wasn't extremely um, over the top but there was a few lights about that we, we got some photographs of. Also, we went and had a little look at the train that they've got. So we did watch the Norfolk Lights Express chugging off with all the lights lit up and the platform all lit up as well. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. though is that when we stood to film the train pulling away the lights went off for a while <laughs> until it sort of pulled away from the platform but we, at least we got some footage of the lights anyway <laughs> and we drove home because Jensen it was time for his sleep um, and then we've just had a nice relaxing evening watching some vlogmases. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. Today, the garment of the day is a Billy sweatshirt. This is a Tilly in the Buttons pattern, and this is made out of a sweatshirt material I got from Guthra Garni with matching ribbing that I also got from Guthra Garni as well. I don't know if they've got it anymore. If they have, I will link it in the description bar down below because it's a relatively recent make. So, this pattern it comes in set several different versions you can have a big puff sleeve which is a full length sleeve or this is the sort of slim sleeve which is the three quarter length and um, there's also a dress version as well I have modified this pattern in that I did a bust adjustment so um, instead of doing one that incorporates a dart what I did is I found the bust apex I drew a line from the bust apex to the bottom of the pattern and then I cut that and cut towards the center of the pattern piece dropped that so that the front panel is slightly longer to account for my bust um because then you don't have you have a, like an equal length if i've increased the length of the front and then i just smoothed the edge so this front panel is about an inch and a half longer than the back panel in my case um to make it so it's a straight hem from front to back so today's shawl is the different light shawl by Justina Lorkowska and I love this shawl it's absolutely gorgeous so the yarns that I've put together are two colorways from fruitful fusion that I got from the East Anglian fiber festival um, last year and they've knitted up beautifully into this shawl so I may have cheated slightly in that I've looked at the photographs for the shawl because I saw the shawl pattern I thought oh this is lovely and there was something that was very similar to these two colors and I was looking for something these two sort of colors um, to put together for this shawl anyway and I just love them really love these two colors together and there's some brioche in there which I think looks really lovely and um, one of my favorites I think so it works out quite a large shawl and I today I wore it round my neck like this um, just so that I can wear it with a coat as per usual and I'll quickly show you what it looks like over the shoulders so you could wear it like that um, with a short pin on the shoulder 
So it's time for your Advents, Adam. Yes, uh, 10. So while you're getting that out, today's song of the day is Frosty the Snowman. Um, so I'll pop a link to a, a YouTube video and the Spotify playlist. You've got a couple of lovely chocolates yes, there. have them in my coffee. Are you going to put the kettle on them? Yeah. <laughs> so what will be in the calendar today, Adam? I don't know. Should we have a look? Day 10. So we think it's a desk at Gringotts Bank. Um, there's two little places for a person to sit at the back or stand. Um, it has it illustrated by Harry Rod Badly. <laughs> there we go. Harry's now working at Gringotts Bank. New story. <laughs> So today's socks, so I'm wearing the Starlight Wishes socks that I knitted um, from last year's Christmas pattern and these have got some bobbles at the top and um, these are knitted in some yarn that I just dyed up um, especially for this um, for this sock pattern just to test it out and these are DK version so this pattern's for both DK and fingering weight yarn. Um, there's a bit of lace on the leg as well and Adam is wearing some commercial sock yarn that I knitted a pair of socks absolutely ages ago and they were a toe-up sock pattern but I can't think what the toe-up sock pattern is so I'll pop in the description bar down below so because I've been knitting in the car because we've been driving around today I've done quite a few rows well at least 10 I think when we were on our route um, so I'm pleased to say that I'm only about three rows of finishing um, the first section of the twist and turns cow or the twist and turns shawl um, so I'm excited to get on with clue two so there we go that's what it looks like so far I really like the way these sort of plait it's not really a plait but you know what I mean um, and I really like the way these colours are working together. So hopefully, with any luck, tomorrow I can have a good go at the second part. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I shall see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye!